In this video we're going to take a look at the Lowrance Hook Reveal range of Chart Plotter Fish Finder combination units. The range consists of a 5 inch, 7 inch and 9 inch models and there are variations with different transducers available. In the box is the warranty registration card. Head unit, mounting bracket, transom mount transducer, transducer mounting bracket, and the mounting hardware. user manuals and the power cable. The Hook Reveal 7 has a series of buttons on the right hand side. It's a button control only, it's not touch screen. Um, those buttons will control the whole uh, unit. There, in the four corners there are holes if you want to flush mount it and there are inserts that clip in to cover these holes whether you flush mount it or bracket mount it. On the side there is a rubber waterproof cover for the micro SD slot to take your chart and it's compatible with Navionics or CMAP charts, CMAP Max N charts. And on the back at the top you'll see it labeled GPS. This is the internal GPS sits up here so there's no uh, requirement for an external mushroom antenna, it's all built in. On the back we have the power socket and the transducer socket. So the Hook 7 Reveal is available in three different versions. One with the 83200 transducer. This is suitable for shallow water, sort of uh, around our coast, um, down to about 100 metres. And it's a dual function transducer that does both traditional chirp sonar and also uh, downscan sonar, high frequency downscan sonar. And then for deeper water, you're looking at the 5200 model with this 5200 transducer. This uh, has better performance at deeper water, uh, dual function has um, traditional chirp and also the high frequency downscanning uh, sonar. And then the triple shot model has this uh, much longer transducer and this transducer is capable of um, traditional chirp plus down scan and side scan um, sonar. The Hook Reveal range of chart plotters are affordable entry level plotters that would be happy on any type of boat whether it be a sailing boat, power boat or fishing boat. But they're really designed for fishermen with advanced sonar features and the fish reveal function which I'm going to show you in a minute. Here we're looking at the home screen of the uh, hook reveal and to navigate around the screen you use the arrow buttons um, so you've got your chart page, your sonar page, side scan, down scan page and uh, split screen and you can also add custom pages using the add page uh, dialog. Also you have your settings where you can change the settings. To go back to the home screen you can just press the pages button it takes you back to the home screen. You've got a waypoint menu, waypoint routes and uh, trails obviously this is a, a new unit so there's no data in there. Again go back to the home screen. You've got an info page which is quite useful, there's some good information here. So it's searching the tidal information on the nearest uh, tidal station to us um, or to the cursor and we're looking at our tidal plot with your high and low times for, for the time and you can move the cursor uh, to across to look at trips and then you've got your um, sunset and sunrise information here. Also there's a storage setting uh, you can put blank SDs into the SD card or you can look at internal memory uh, and look at your 
files. This is a good way of also uh, saving sonar logs and also um, waypoints to a card to transfer to another unit or for backup. So to select the page you want to go into, you move the blue highlighted box around the actual page, press the enter key and we've just gone into the chart page. This is a demonstration chart but I'm going to show you simply how to create waypoints and routes. So I've moved the cursor and if I want to drop a waypoint uh, at the cursor I just press the enter button and I select a new waypoint at the top and I can then edit the name of the waypoint, I can change the icon for the waypoint, we'll put a fishing mark in and I can also change the colour of the of the little icon and save and so you can you see it's put the icon and when you hover over the the icon it will give you the icon name and enlarge the icon so that's how to enter waypoints if you want to enter waypoints as um, as a latitude and longitude, you simply go into the waypoints menu on the home screen, press enter, go into new waypoint, and then you can simply change the coordinates to put a waypoint in from a, a point that you've got off a paper chart and save um, and save a waypoint. And that waypoint will appear on the chart. To create a route or enter route information you simply press the enter button, go down to new route, press for your start, press enter for your start, select your next point, then draws a line from point A to point B and then you can keep entering So there are four waypoints joined together to create a route. And once you want to finish the route, it tells you up in the left hand corner, finish route, press the X button. And then you can save the route and call it whatever you like, route one. And then you can review that route from the waypoint tra uh, routes and trails page and you'll see as we go into routes, there's our route, route 1, and then you can then start the route, review the route, show it on the map, but we start the route, go in the forward direction, and then we, um, we can see that where our vessel is on the demonstration file, it's moving, and there is our direction to our first waypoint. So we're going to take a look at the sonar page which is a traditional chirp sonar page. So it's fully auto ranging straight out of the box. On the right we have our range scales. You can see fish arches showing the fish and you can see the bottom. You can change the colour by pressing the enter button, go into more options and then you've got a I think it's 12 different colour options. You can change it into monochrome, you can change it to various colours, traditional type colourations, whatever your preference is. Um, you can change the fish arches to uh, fish symbols. You can put depths on there, you can have both fish symbols and depths, and you can also set a fish alarm. If you use the arrow keys you can scroll back, look at your sonar history and if you find something that you want to navigate back to you press the enter button and then you go to cursor and then you can go back to the chart page and navigate back to that point. If you had a triple shot unit, you would have the side scan function. And side scan is looking to the 
right hand side and left hand side of the boat. So if you look at the center line, this is the center line of your boat. So we're on top of the water here, looking down and right. And on the other side, we're looking down and left. So we're finding structure on the right hand side of the, uh, of the seabed and same on the left hand side. So we're looking 160 feet to the right in this case and 160 feet to the left. Again, it's fully auto ranging. You can zoom in using the zoom in, um, zoom in and out uh, plus and minus keys. You can scroll back, find a point and navigate back to a point. Um, and also, you like the other sonar menus, you can um, change the palette and you can change the view to left only or right only or left and right. Now we'll look at the high frequency down scan. This is again looking straight down like traditional chirp sonar um, and this uses much higher frequency to get much better definition of the seabed. And this model called the Reveal has a feature called Fish Reveal where it uses the traditional chirp sonar from the water column and puts it on top of the uh, high frequency down scanning sonar. So it's really easy to see uh, fish on the bottom and fish around structure and it just highlights the uh, fish around the structure. It's not overlaid on top, it's just the water column uses the traditional chirp sonar and the structure is from the high frequency down scanning sonar and again you can use the cursor to scroll back and go to um, you can change the uh, palette to whatever you like And that's fish reveal. That's great for finding fish on the bottom and fish in the water column. The final screen on the home page is the split screen where you've got half the screen using chart plotter and the other half traditional chirp sonar. This is a very useful uh, screen if you're going into ground where you're slightly worried about the, the depth. Um, both on one screen you can Move the arrow button to highlight the screen that you want to change. There's an orange box around the screen and then you can zoom in, zoom out or change the setup of that particular half of the screen. If I go back to the home page you can add your own customized screen and you can add say, chart plotter, traditional sonar, side scan Dan's going to have all four elements, all four functions on one and save it. And then we've got chart plotter, down scan, side scan and traditional sonar all on one page. And that is then saved on the home page setup. You can also change the, the size of the windows and splits um, on the individual pages. So that is a brief look at the the setup of the Lorentz Hook 7 Reveal. And it's fairly simple to use, straight out of the box.